Hello and what's up everybody, this is P. Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we are gonna work with your display properties. So display property helps you to give uh, the one tag to the power of another tag. Means if we are working with your uh, span tag which is your uh, text tag and we can make it uh, to your div tag. Means your span tag will act like your div tag or your div tag will act like your span tag you can give any tag the power any tag uh, any power to your any tag means you can just meet uh, your text tag to your div tag or div tag to your text tag or many others so uh, let me show you how to do that all this stuff in this video for it. that you can see that i have created a file in which I have used one h1 tag and a ul another list and some span tag so as you can see that this is your uh, list uh, h1 is your text tag and ul is also your uh, listing tag and this is your span is your also uh, sorry your text tag okay so let me show you the output first okay then i will show you what i have done style and all so you can see uh it is simple i have just used in the i have just given the background color and i and i am using this this these are our span tags and this is, is our ul list and one h1 I'll tag okay over here okay guys and in starting part you can see i have used your universal selector and give the specify a background color of fire brick. I have given the font size of 25 pixels, margin left. I have given the margin left 15 pixels. So it is uh, easily uh, visible to you and you can understand the working uh, more effectively. And now you can see that I have specify a list style equal to none in the universal sector only because uh, I don't have to write the code again and again for listing my uh, for styling my lists okay so i have just specify a, it in universal sector that list style will be your none and it has removed my the unordered bullet points from here okay listing bullet points from here and now what i'm gonna do uh let's just specify some borders to our these tags so uh, then you will able to understand the working of them that's how they work how they act like some different tags okay so first of all i'm going to just give my uh, i'm just giving them borders okay so one pixel solid black for example sorry and similarly you will okay let's just give them like this and single line only you will come my ally first let's just give them on okay wait for wait for a second guys i'm just giving to the border to two of them and i'm showing you the output as you can see over here i have given the border to okay let's just give uh, your border to your span tag also okay uh, span okay so right now you can see that i have using uh i have given your uh what uh borders to your all of the tags okay the listing tag the h1 tag and your span tag so now let's just leave some pairing to it and so i can give the pairing to means for example 25 pixels no it's maybe more okay and now you can see it look good it look really good yeah seriously and now i want to show you one more thing that uh you might be thinking that your this is your list tag okay as i told you this is your list tag so it has one border and if it if i specify uh, your border or uh, to your ul tag then it is also present over there that you can see over here the ul tag border similar 
so what i can do i can just reduce the size of uh, i can just reduce the width of your sorry um ul tag so it does uh and it will automatically reduce the width of your li tag over here so i'm gonna just start with my ul tag and i'm gonna change this width to for example 500 pixels so now you can see my list tags also get the sorry also get your uh, also my width of list tags also get reduces because your ul tag is the parent of your list tags that's why okay guys and now what i'm going to i'm gonna just uh making this list tag oh sorry let's start working with your display properties one by one so uh, i'm gonna use for, i'm gonna work with your four properties in this video and that's uh, the the four properties are uh, none and your display uh, block okay inline block Or inline also. Okay, guys. So let's just comment this out because I'm not. Um, it might affect your web page if I just. Oh, sorry. The forward slash. Okay. So I have just commented out, and now you can see that I'm going to work with your four different properties of the display over here in this video, and. The two properties that are flex and your grid we will work with them in uh, two different videos because they are they have a lot of property in it all so don't name so i'm going to just work with your first your display none and what your display none does so display none helps you whenever we are working with your javascript codes uh, means if you want to just uh, make it make one text uh, uh invisible and i want to uh, another text take place of it or something like that if uh if we have an image and then we have an image with the your text and we have highlighted your text and when we take the cursor to to on our image and your text will appears so at that moment of the, uh, at that place your this your display none will work uh use okay so now what this display none will going to uh, your as you can see in my html code that uh, after the h1 tag we have the list tags the unordered list ul so uh, display none will going to hide your h1 tag from the web browser and your list tag will take place of it okay so as you can see my output uh, just let's just save it okay now my h1 tags uh, is hidden from the web browser and my list tag has taken the place of it okay it just shifted towards the upward side you can see and now i'm gonna work with your block elements so uh block or inline or any so first i'm going to work with your inline element so it will be easy for you to understand the working of inline then the block then move on block okay so you can understand the difference in between them and then we will work with your inline block okay so i'm gonna just target my list tags over here so let's just target li and i'm gonna give the your display of inline and mostly the inline will use for your uh, text tag okay so your matlab if you have a number of lines then it will be uh, written in the same line that you, as you can see in my code html code that uh, list if we create a list tag then we have to use some different uh, a number of list tag over here and which is uh, which is uh, shows on your browser in different lines a line will be break after the each of the tag and then for example web developer is in one line the graphic developer is in graphic design in your one line cyber security is in your one line so now what display inline will does uh, will uh, your display inline will take this all in the same line okay so let's just save it okay okay save and now you can see uh, sorry I, 
the grand problem or something like that happens to you. Wait for a second guys, let's just remove this from here and this from here for a while. Okay guys, we have it to see the size, that's why the, it is overlapping from there. So I'm just gonna change it to uh, 1000 pixels. Okay, now you can see it over here guys. Uh, so I can get the pairing to it, okay now. Yeah. Okay, now you can see that uh, your this list tag uh, list elements are in the same line only. So and, uh, now they will work act as your uh, text tags. Okay, so display in line will uh, convert your uh, list tags uh, list items into your text uh, items. Okay. So now all the properties of your text items uh, such as your anchor tag and your uh, span tag where we can work with them in your list tags also and now ju let's just move on to your uh, what is our next uh, okay next is our block so I'm gonna target my span over here uh, span and I'm gonna give it a display of your block and now what display block does okay as i told already told you in my previous video that uh, your display block block will uh, make your element uh, breaks the line okay it breaks the line and uh, between the two block uh, two division tags okay and in simple word you can say uh, it will break your line and whatever uh, it will makes your uh, any of the tag for example, your uh, if we are working with your uh, here, span is your text tag. So display block will convert your text tag into your div tag. Okay, so means all the properties of your div tag will going to work on your span tag. So let me show you the output first, and then we'll, I will show you how a display block is working on your uh, span. So let's just give uh, let's uh, save it, and I will show you the output first. As you can see. Uh, now I have a uh, previously I have a border of only some specific amount. Let me show you. This. If I remove this, okay, save this. Now you can see uh, my I have no I have a limited amount of border. Okay, it is not uh, spreaded on our entire web page, and my span tags are uh, in the same line in a in line form. And if I use the block, if I give the block property over here, then all the tags will come in your, all the span elements will now come on your different lines because it acting as a div tag and every div tag starts from your new line. Okay. And it, uh, every div tag has your prop, uh, every div tag, uh, is your fit on your entire web page. That's why. It gets spread, its border gets spread and take place all of it. So now what I can do, I can just give a pairing to it. Uh, for example, pairing left of 50 pixels and margin left of 50 pixels. Okay. So you can see that I have given the margin and pairing from the. Okay, let's just give a pairing. 500 pixels okay now you can see I have given the margins and this is it. in the inner part this is your heading okay so if I remove this over here the display block okay let's just give it a bit with auto so if I give him the width of 500 pixels okay you can see now I have given the width but if I remove this uh, your display block from here, then this property, uh, this your width property and your uh, width property will not work on it. As you can see, uh, all your tags are like this, acting like this. Means your margin property or pairing property will not going to work on your span tag because your span tag is a text tag, and this margin and your width or pairing will generally work 
act on your div tags only okay so if i want to make them work on your span tag then i have to give in the assign the property of displayed block to it okay now you can see all the uh, your margins and uh, all the things are working well over here and if also then you are not understanding then you can just go over the inspect element and you can just uh, choose a selected key over here and you can just come over here and you can see that your uh, we have assigned a margin of the, the orange part over here which is your margin left and the light orange part which is your margin right and you can see over here same but uh, if I remove once again I will show you the last mean that if I have removed this then this properties are not working well on it as you can see over here if I just take my cursor okay, on this one element then only margin left will acting on it similarly over here over here but they are overlapping on each other as you can see over here, they are overlapping on each other okay guys so this should not be happen uh, we don't want to overlap our content on each other so what we'll do we will just <coughs> uh, give the display block property and it will now acting like your uh, sorry I have to, uh, yeah. now it will acting like your div tag okay I think now you might understand the working of your display uh, block inline or none so now the last one we are working in this video is your inline block so i'm gonna work with your for example let's just okay so now what i can do just i can also okay, let me just copy this and twice copy it or leave it uh, let's just make an anchor uh, an anchor tag of for example for example home and similarly in the table of sorry href and y and i'm going to invest, uh, assign it to your service for example and the last one is your contact us Okay. let me show you the output first and these anchor tags are your <coughs> we all know that anchor tags are your what uh, is your okay, guys, uh, anchor tag is uh, is your uh, text tags okay so text tag is same as your span tag span is also a text tag that's why they are coming in the same line as you can see over here they are coming in the same line and now what I can do I can just give them a left uh, let me show you the first uh, I'm doing the border also border to them also so let's just go over here and assign a border to them also okay so now you can see I have assigned a border to them also and I'm going to give them a margin also yeah because if I do not give them then they will might overlap on each other so I'm gonna just give over here in my starting card I'm going to give the text decoration to none so the line of the uh, underline will be removed from here and I can give I'm giving some no so now let's just work, start working with your inline block over here so if I give uh, this give the display of inline and just after that I will put a, a hyphen and write the block so now this display inline block means uh, anchor tag will have the properties of your inline tag, uh, inline display property, and your block display property. But uh, it has a combination. It is a mixture of your inline and your block display property. Okay. So what are the properties that we will work when your inline and or your display will now acting on a uh, same your anchor tag, both the properties. So I can also assign now. As, oh, as I've given this, so now you can see uh, they were uh, acting like our your nothing changes over here. As you can see over here, nothing has changed. But if I just give a margin of them, 
then it will uh, act over here I mean, it will work over here example 25 pixels so now you can see the margin is uh, uh, added to it but okay and if I give the pairing to them this will also act it will also work and if I give them a width of for example 500 pixels okay this is also it right so as you can see in this way uh, you can work with your inline and your all because now with your inline block means uh, your all the elements will come on your same line and uh, by you by giving the your sorry let me choose let me check me out okay uh, inline inline means all the element will come on your same line uh, as we all know that your list tag uh, sorry anchor tag has is already your text tag so it will uh, automatically by default comes in your same line but uh, if as we have assigned the block property to it then now it will working at your working as your uh, inline uh, acting as your div tag also if I remove this now you can see no none of the single property is uh, assigned to it and if I just go over the in my again in my visual studio code and add it and for example I remove this inline properties from here now you can see uh, they are in separate line because the block will uh, make them uh, diff make them a div tag and which is uh, in your block will break the line and make your diff different div tags to them okay give the power them give uh, the power of list tag uh, div tag to your anchor tag over here okay but if i assign the inline and then the hyphen then the both the powers of the or inline matlab is your div power and your text power will going to be assigned to your this uh, anchor tag over here so i hope guys that you might understand the concept of your display properties in this video that how one display property will acting like this and this and this so we have worked in with your four properties in this video which are your none your block your inline and your inline block okay guys so in the next video we will work with your flex display is equal to flex and uh, we will see some properties of it and after that we will work with your grid uh, display is equal to grid and we, same we will work with the properties of grid in that video so in this video that's all guys i hope you like this concept of the uh, display property and thanks for watching guys uh, uh, leave a like guys also okay uh, do subscribe to our channel